Hello lovely people, welcome back to Focus Hive. You all know what is VUCA world? Well, if you did not know, COVID might have made you realize it. VUCA is important for us to understand because we live in that world. And we operate, we survive and we win. So today I'm starting a three episode series talking about what is VUCA and what is VUCA leadership why traditional leadership may not work in VUCA world and what are the key components or key elements of traditional leadership that we should hone to ensure that we become a VUCA leader. In this episode, we are going to touch upon VUCA, definition of VUCA and what it means and why it's super relevant in today. So here it is VUCA for you. Volatile uncertain, complex, and ambiguity. A word which is volatile, super uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. How do you survive in a world like that? We are defining today's world as VUCA because it is volatile. The rate of change is going top the charts. You are not able to keep track of what's happening and who would have thought there would be floods in Hyderabad as I make this video Hyderabad is being flooded with water in fact I'm having people call me and tell me that they have water entering in their house a lot of vehicles I mean there's long queue in Maruti and Hyundai service centers where people are lining up their cars to get it serviced because their cars were submerged in water who would have thought about that that's the kind of craziness that we are working with, hence VUCA. So now we understand that we are living in a volatile world. But what is going to happen tomorrow? Are we very sure about our present? That's exactly what uncertainty means. We are not clear about today or tomorrow. So if I ask you a question today while uh, we all are working from home, uh, when are we coming back to office? There's no concrete answer to that. And that's the simplest one, right? But the answer is super difficult. In order to give that answer, people have to go to many lengths to identify as to different causes and then figure out an answer. Again, that will not be 100% correct. So that's the level of uncertainty that we are currently facing. Hence, VUCA. C stands for complexity. Do you think we are living in a very simple, straightforward world? Doing business, working professionally, learning, doing anything. Is it simple? I don't think so. It's a nested world. It's a world which is super complex. In order to be successful, you have to take care of so many factors. There are multiple factors playing. Something is pulling, something is pushing. And you have to be really, really, really focused in order to understand what you're trying to do. So the complexity is high in today's world. Hence, and finally, lack of clarity. We really don't know what's happening around. I mean, so much of information is available today that you really don't know what you're reading is right or wrong. The the, the clarity between what's right, what's wrong is all vague now. So that is why we call today's world as ambiguous world. Ambiguity is permanent today. It is not clear. Hence, we call it a VUCA world. So with this, I believe you have a clear understanding of what kind of world we are living in. And thanks to COVID that it has amplified VUCA for us. And uh, we need to be ready. We, we should have been ready to survive in this VUCA world. And today I have just summed up what VUCA means so that you have clarity about the world you're living in. In the next episode, we are going to talk about why the traditional leadership is not going to work in this world. And following that, in the third and the final episode, we will talk about what is VUCA leadership? What are the key components or the key elements of a leader in a VUCA world who's going to not only just survive, but thrive? 
with that thank you so much for joining in today and we will connect again very soon bye bye